here's what we're going to need. So we're going to start by tracing our design lightly with a pencil. Don't forget to outline your eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. And we're going to be using just four colors today, Viridian Green, Cobalt Blue, Rambouge, and a mix of Permanent Red and Alizarian Crimson. Um, also our water dropper, kneaded eraser, our masking fluid, and your set of brushes. Not quite sure what sizes we're going to be using, but we'll figure that out as we go. One drop of paint to three drops of water. We may be increasing that. Don't forget your wash and your rinse. Let's get started. So, shake, shake, shake up your uh, masking fluid. This one is a masking liquid in a pump marker, which I actually really love. Um, just a few little dots, make sure it's wet. And then we'll be sure to do the eyes um, last. It's a little gunky, so I was checking it out just to make sure I didn't need to clean that up. Um, one thing I love is this kneaded eraser. Um, hopefully you guys have gotten one. Um, oh yeah. Let's see. Eh, let's go for the second to last uh, smallest size. Um, we're going to rinse this up. <laughs> oh yeah. My inspiration. So I love geckos. I love these little geckos and um, they're all, all different kinds of species or different um, spots and designs and they do have five legs even though you can only see about four on here. Um, you can see through the shadows kind of their little stubby round things that sucker onto things so they can climb. Um, before we get started, I'm going to erase a little bit of these, the pencil marks. Um, just by touching. That's what I love about these kneaded erasers. You just touch it. Excuse the banging of the table. I'm going to cause a little bit of a shudder, <laughs> shatter, earthquake, um, just to get rid of some of the darker areas. And then you just pull it and knead it to somehow magically get rid of the lead that's in the eraser. Get it where you like it, knead out the lead, get your protective baggie, whatever case you want to keep it in to keep it soft and pliable, and we're about ready to get started. You can see the four colors I've got here, just a basic primary and a secondary. Um, I'm going to try with this one, we're doing two different geckos, two different ways, and with this gecko, we're going to outline I decided to use the smaller brush. Where'd it go? It's a six. Here we go. Um, doesn't say six but this is the eight. The eight says eight and we're gonna use the smaller of the ones that we have. Oops. Oh, of course. <laughs> Me trying to rush. So we're going to use the six. We're gonna wash, rinse, even though there's nothing on it. Um, start with a little damp brush. Get those out of the way. And we're going to outline the areas first and then go back and add some water as needed to kind of fill in the space. Not, not real sure this is going to work as well as I think it is because there's a lot of fine detail. Usually doing it this way um, is really good for larger areas, but let's try it. I'm going to do it two different ways and you guys can decide what you like the best. So um, this is video one of two, two different gecko designs. So what I'm going to do is um, at some point I'm going to speed this up and I will talk over it as I speed. First of all, just, just lightly outline little hands and sucker feet add some water, fill it in, and it just, it'll be just a little lighter on the inside. And if you can work kind of quickly, um, you won't end up with too many lines. Um, this is light fast watercolor, so it does make a nice impression. It's permanent, so it does make a nice impression. So you do want to kind of work somewhat quickly, which for me is a disadvantage. I don't work quickly very well, as you guys probably know by now. 
Get a little caught up on the details and the lines. I need my own class on loosening up. I've tried a few things in loosening up, but um, not my strong suit. Not my strong suit. Okay, let's go ahead and speed this up and I will talk over as we go. Hopefully this sounds okay. So I'm basically going to outline the sections and fill it with some water, lots of water. Right now I'm just using the paint that's left on my brush and adding some water here and there because I found that the initial paint was a little strong. A lot strong. speed right through this. <laughs> so if you notice, there's some, almost an edge it left there. So I'm having to work pretty quickly, not as quickly as you're seeing, but I'm um, having to work pretty quickly because I wasn't happy with the lines I was seeing that was being left behind. And also by using the same amount of paint, um, on the brush for all five fingers and toes um, made for the first one to be darker than the last one obviously. So just adding water, filling it in. This is just the base coat and then we're going to add some more color. One trick, one really good trick to getting a looser painting is to hold your brush back. Hold it way back on the brush and you will get a looser feel. Um, things won't be as precise. Toes and fingers won't be precise. Eyeballs won't be precise, but you'll get the basic idea. Um, a lot of times watercolor is just communicating um, enough so you can see enough of it your brain just kind of knows what's going on there if you look at some loosely painted watercolors they're not exact they're not showing every single window door doorknob hinge but you know they're there um, so you can see that the lines are kind of a little defined and i just decided you know what it's okay now the yellow we're going to be using is really strong I actually put five drops of water to one drop of yellow, and this is insanely intense. And I knew it was intense, so I added more water, but look at that. Crazy, so you might wanna add 10 if you want it a little lighter. Well, let's see how this works. See what we think. just gonna add some red that also is pretty darn dark you notice I added more water because now the blue is dry and the splotching just left dots I wanted this to be a looser watercolor not so um, tight but then as I went I realized eh, it'll be what it's gonna be you could do a whole lot more. You could do 10 more and all 10 are going to look totally different. All you guys, everyone in the class, all yours are going to look totally different. Um, your sketch will be included in the email I'll send out. So you can get that ready. And don't forget the eight and a half by 11 markings. Not too, don't draw them too strongly because they're tough to erase comes time for that and then you'll be able to frame those or just put them in your sleeve for protection so I'm just doing a wash um, wash 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 and then I'm gonna come on through and add a little more detail what you don't get to see towards the end is I added some detail down the back and for some reason the camera stopped recording so I apologize for that but it's in the beginning photo and it'll be in the end photo Ooh, that looks so cool doesn't it just looks like it's spreading so happily. <laughs> it's having a good time. Oh. 
this is fun watching it fast. Now I'm just gonna sop up some of the extra paint, have it flow here and there. line on the upper side the blue side at the end too just to kind of give it some um, dimension now another thing we haven't even touched on are shadows so another idea would be to add a shadow hmm. Hmm. maybe I should do that let's see if I have time before class we're supposed to go to Disneyland tomorrow so we'll see Here I added a little a new color at the bottom and wasn't happy with how light it was, so add more color. This is just straight black with some a little bit of white. And because we put down the um, masking fluid in the pen, please don't let me forget to have you guys do that first thing. As soon as the eyes are dry, we can rub that off. Now I'm just dropping droplets of water. That looks pretty cool by itself. Um, and then I'm going to add on just, I'm kind of dabbing, dabbing, dabbing in like three times per dot, but this took forever to dry. So it's gonna be better if you just go ahead and choose your color and drop those on there. You'll see the actual print in Class Friday. Okay. That's it, and let's look at the final piece. I'm really looking forward to seeing what you guys do. I can't wait to see your projects. Have fun!